evening I will present an update of the City of Sheboygan's action items and related benchmarks. For those of you that uh, may not be aware, or for our viewing audience, uh, this is a copy of the City of Sheboygan's Strategic Plan 2017-2021. Uh, this is a five-year strategic plan. It was approved uh, in December of 2016. As a reminder, the city has six focus areas, quality of life, infrastructure and public facilities, economic development, neighborhood revitalization, governing and fiscal management, and last is communication. So some of the projects, as you're aware, are multi-year in nature. Uh, some of those that are, were initially identified in 2019 uh, have been postponed until 2020. Uh, many of the projects cannot happen uh, with a single department. Uh, a lot of collaboration occurs, not only internally, but also externally. Uh, staff does leverage intergovernmental resources and other contributions to maximize uh, savings as well as taxpayer money and ultimately to improve output. Uh, staff utilizes public feedback for improvements and modifications and again, we're attempting to improve uh, our com comparative benchmarking with other municipalities. Instead of simply comparing from one year to another internally, it's going to be more and more important for us to look at other communities as far as meeting different benchmarks. Uh, for those of you uh, on the council, you received a, a spreadsheet. Uh, please note that anything uh, printed in blue uh, typically is a sort of a quick way for you to identify those action items or benchmarks that we've actually met or exceeded uh, our, 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 our goals or accomplishments. Quality of life is the first focus area. Uh, again, I've, I tried to pick <clears throat> those benchmarks or action items that I think uh, help tell a good story or if there's issues in fact that do not tell a good story we need to share that information as well. Uh, first is 93% uh, of fire responses occur within 380 seconds, which is 6.33 uh, minutes. Uh, our goal, uh, our established benchmark is 90% of the time that we will, in fact, meet that 380 second response time. Uh, the first half of this year, and again, all this information is the first six months uh, of 2019, uh, we've actually exceeded 93% of the time we have met or exceeded that uh, 380 second uh, response time. In looking back uh, over 2018, 17, 16, or 15, uh, the response uh, rate or response time in 2019 exceeds all of those previous four years. The city does have, uh, through the police department, a high visibility education enforcement deployment uh, machine. Uh, again, it, as you receive concerns from your constituents, uh, each alder can request uh, the possible deployment of this machine to help us get a feel for traffic, especially potential speeding in your area. Uh, so far, uh, six have been deployed for the first six months. Uh, our goal is a minimum of seven per year. Prescription drug collection, uh, we do have at our police station a drop-off uh, box. Uh, for the first six months, 706 pounds uh, which represents 58% of our annual goal of 1,200 pounds. Um, we've also received help from, I think, Walgreens and other uh, local uh, pharmacists uh, in, in the collection of these uh, unused uh, drugs. Seven joint projects have occurred with uh, Sheboygan Area School District uh, that exceeds uh, our goal. Nine neighborhood associations uh, have been approved. This is again through June. As you're aware, at your last meeting on August 5th, a 10th uh, in park association was approved. Uh, last, uh, I don't think it's on this slide, uh, property crimes specifically uh, type, I think it's called category one. Um, we are at year to date 7.6 crimes uh, compared to the overall 2019 benchmark of 22.25. So we're, even though we're halfway through the year, uh, we're significantly under uh, at only 34%. Uh, quality of life, uh, 47 neighborhood association meetings have occurred so far this year, or 67% of our annual goal of 70 meetings on an annual basis. Uh, for the senior services uh, joint projects, 
three partners have been worked with uh, in 2019, John Michael Kohler Art Center, Sheboygan Area School District, and the Coastal Young Professional Network uh, through the Chamber. Year to date, uh, over 100,000 internet sessions have occurred by residents uh, at the Mead Public Library. Uh, year to date, uh, again through June, uh, 346,000 uh, plus writers, which is 58% uh, of our annual, annualized goal of 600,000. Uh, for the first six months, it's up 23% over the comparable period in 2018. So something very unique is happening uh, with Shoreline Metro. For Metro Connection, uh, we're approximately at 50% uh, mark, uh, or six, 16,721 of our 34,000 uh, passenger goal. Some of you on your spread on your handout, uh, the three was missing. It should say 34%, not four uh, on the goals. <clears throat> Next is infrastructure and public facilities. Uh, City Hall renovation, no doubt, is uh, in a a key action item for uh, 2019, again through June, uh, we're at 95% of achieving that goal as far as completing the project. And as you're aware, an open house is scheduled for Monday or Tuesday, September 3rd. Resurfacing of streets, uh, three streets in 2019, uh, we're engaged in resurfacing uh, not only local funds, but state and federal funds through June, roughly a third of the, uh, specifically North as being the biggest project, uh, it, uh, we're a third of the way through completion. Sheboygan A's, uh, this, again, this is a local partnership with the Sheboygan A's group. Uh, in 2019, uh, a major project for us and for them was the outfield lighting project, and that was completed in time for their 2019 season. For 2019, 526 trees were planted. Uh, our goal was 500. Uh, it's the highest uh, completion rate uh, in, for the last three years. No doubt this becomes more and more important, especially as we uh, see uh, cut down, stump, uh, all the emerald ash borer trees, uh, emerald ash trees that are affected by uh, the borer. Uh, economic development, uh, as Amy Wilson identified, uh, this becomes a, a bigger and bigger part of the Sh city of Sheboygan's uh, economy. I think it's number two uh, overall for the, for the city. Uh, we've collected 271,000 and change as far as room taxes for the first quarter. Uh, we have not received all of the funding yet for that second quarter due to the delay uh, and deadlines associated uh, with the collection from the hotels. Uh, as you can imagine, in the city of Sheboygan, the third quarter is our largest quarter of the year. So even though um, if we look at the first quarter, it does not meet the 25%, which is a quarter of the year. And again, most of the revenue comes in during the second quarter or third quarter. For valuation of the city's TIDs, uh, the 2019 numbers have come out. Uh, we're at 127 of our benchmark or goal. Uh, this represents the 100, roughly 190 million, uh, billion, uh, million dollars, represents a 36% increase over the 2018 valuation. A similar number of $188 million is the current value of industrial property. Uh, the valuation, as you know, uh, does not occur locally, but by the State Department of Revenue. Uh, this actually is roughly a million dollar decrease from last year. So as you know, a lot of, a lot of industrial property depreciates as opposed to appreciates like residential commercial homes. Uh, so it's positive that we're basically on an even keel as far as valuation. New residential units uh, so far in 2019, 184 new units uh, per permits have been pulled. Uh, this can be attributed to the Seven Pen Project as well as the Badger State Lofts, uh, both apartment projects. Uh, originally our goal was 80, so we've far surpassed that. Um, the total anticipated 2019 residential units, uh, we think will be closer to 300 units. Next, please. Uh, neighborhood revitalization. Uh, continued uh, uh, planning and development department continues to work on identifying baseline data so that we can get a sense as far as where we're at versus uh, all the efforts uh, that would be placed into bringing up uh, sort of the health of those 
older uh, neighborhoods uh, we're 75 percent through uh, creating that baseline data again this is through the end of June the 2019 targeted neighborhoods are South Calumet River Bend River uh, West and South Lake um, not only do we look at the uh, structure, the residential structure, code compliance, but we also look at property uh, violations. Next is organizing annual spring cleanup events in partnership with Public Works. Uh, I know many of you uh, worked in conjunction with uh, Public Works Department in May of this year uh, for, again, all those neighbors, neighborhoods that are in a formalized, approved association, uh, nine at that time, uh, the neighborhoods were provided with dumpsters uh, to help clean up those neighborhoods. Uh, next is develop analysis management plans for blight, blighted, <coughs> blighted property in key business corridors. Uh, we're 60% through that. Uh, 336 code enforcement orders were issued through June. This is 36% of our goal of 1,000. Overall, in 2018, for comparison purposes, on an annual basis, 866 uh, enforcement orders were issued. Uh, last is 244 garbage complaints were investigated or cited. This represents 82% of our overall benchmark, uh, which is 300. By comparison, in 2018, for the full year, 543, and in 2017, 820. So uh, hopefully this uh, number uh, is a recognition that we're, we're, we're sort of ahead of, ahead of the issue and we're seeing a downward trend. Governing and fiscal management. Uh, the second annual employee recognition event is scheduled for October 10th. This is to recognize employees with a significant service anniversary dates as well as uh, retirees from the prior year. Three legacy computer applications uh, have been closed out. Uh, this represents uh, 100% of our benchmark or target for 2019. Um, those specifically are car allowance, uh, building co contractor licensing, and signed fee programs. Uh, we're still in the process of identifying those legacy applications that are on the AS400 uh, with the goal ultimately to uh, shut down the AS400 and rely upon uh, new programs that work in conjunction with the <coughs> city's uh, Tyler uh, system. Munis salary and benchmark module implementation. Uh, this is the single most uh, chal uh, challenge for many staff members in developing the 2020 budget. Instead of working off of an Excel spreadsheet that ultimately has to be uploaded or double entered into the Munis accounting system, we're utilizing for the first time a salary and benefit module that is Munis based and then we're exporting that information into an Excel spreadsheet uh, that ultimately uh, that format will be ma made available to you uh, within roughly two and a half weeks. Uh, as you know, earlier this year, in July 2019, uh, the city received from Moody's Investor Service uh, confirmation of our AA2 uh, bond rating, um, and, and that, that's quite an accomplishment. Communication. Uh, con continued steady increase in users of all city social media outlets. Uh, we're well over 100% of our benchmarks. From, uh, from January 1st, uh, 400 new Twitter uh, followers uh, exist. Uh, next door, we've added an additional 100 users. On Facebook, we've added 2,500 new likes. And on Nextel, uh, over 200 additional contacts. As far as community survey, again, this was done in conjunction with ARP. Uh, we exceeded our uh, benchmark of 1,100 at 1,277. No doubt we hope to increase that benchmark number uh, as we move forward in future years on the community survey. Uh, 27 fire department community events have occurred uh, this year. Um, 18 was the goal, and so that's 150% or 50% increase above and beyond the goal for 2019. Uh, that is my last slide. Again, thanks to all the city employees who make these accomplishments happen and to all the common council members who have supported 
including financial support, the implementation of the strategic plans, action items. Thank you.